how we sold a $500,000 Dublin home for $71,378 above list price. Do you believe that homes sell themselves in today's hot sellers market? If you do, we recommend you continue watching. While there is a severe housing shortage and many listings sell in just a few days, it takes a lot of experience and effort to get top dollar and find a reliable buyer who will not back out of the contract and close on time. Let us give you a behind the scenes look into a recent sale we just closed in Dublin for $556,378. The house was listed for $485,000, but we were able to net the owner an extra $71,378 above the list price. Here's how Suzanne did it. The pre-listing consultation. It all begins with a winning plan. During her initial consultation with the owners, she recommended several high-impact upgrades to their house. She wanted to make sure they would not over-improve the property. Instead, Suzanne suggested items that produce the best return on their investment, such as painting, new light fixtures, door handles, and minor repairs. Aggressive marketing for maximum exposure. The typical agent puts a sign in the yard, loads the property on the MLS, and waits for buyers to show up. However, we believe in aggressive marketing to promote your home to the largest audience possible. The more buyers who see your house, the more offers you will receive, and this will likely ignite a bidding war. First, Suzanne hired a professional photographer to capture high-quality pictures both inside and out. And she always creates a 3D virtual tour. Did you know that only 3.5% of all listings offer virtual tours? So that's very unique. Virtual tours help us pre-select buyers. And in today's market, there is little time for live showings. With a virtual tour, we give buyers a chance to preview the property without wasting their time driving to a house that does not meet their needs. This leaves more showing time slots for serious buyers. For this listing, we mailed 1,942 jumbo color postcards to surrounding neighborhoods then launched a paid Facebook ad campaign that was seen by 1,027 users. 84 of them clicked on the ad to see property details. We also ran online ads on the Google Advertising Network, which resulted in 1,364 additional views. Finally, we sent an email blast to 2,744 potential buyers, created a property website, and promoted the listing on all real estate websites such as Zillow, Realtor.com, Remax Global, and of course on our local MLS. Remax 24-7's marketing strategy guarantees that everyone who's looking for a home in Dublin will see your listing. Managing showings. Our marketing campaign generates a lot of interest in your listing. Buyers and their agents start lining up to see the inside as soon as the listing goes live. We usually launch the listing on Thursday morning and keep the property open for showings for four full days until Sunday evening. Suzanne uses an online service to schedule showings in 30-minute segments without overlaps so you will know exactly who's going through your house and at which time. She receives email feedback from agents after each showing, which helps us address concerns immediately and uncover their motivation to make an offer. For the new Grange house, we had 43 showings in four days. The homeowner left town for a few days to avoid the hustle of back-to-back -back showings and keep their home in pristine condition. Agent Communication As the listing agent, it is Suzanne's responsibility to communicate with all showing agents. She requests feedback after a showing, answers their questions, uncovers buyer motivation, and solicits offers. She is constantly on the phone while showings are happening. We can't overstate how important it is to communicate with the buyer's agents. It is an opportunity to explain to them how to write offers in the terms that are most beneficial for our client, the homeowner. Collecting offers without cutting showing times. After the first day of showings, we received an incredible offer of $50,000 above list price. The agent asked if we would accept it and cancel further showings. We did not. Suzanne honestly did not anticipate that there would be any better offers. However, they did not accept it right away as she promised other agents to keep the listing open for showings until Sunday. All too often, agents and their sellers accept the first offer and take the property off the market, sometimes mere hours after going live. We don't believe this is in the best interest of the seller because it limits the number of qualified buyers who can view the property. As we then discovered on this listing, the first offer is not always the best. In fact, the best offer was submitted on the last day of showings for a substantially higher price and better terms. Presentation of the offer matrix. Altogether, we received seven written and three verbal offers. The verbal offers were not competitive, so the agents did not want to put them in writing. And seven offers with different terms are confusing for most homeowners. 
Therefore, Suzanne prepared an offer matrix to highlight the specific terms of each contract, such as price, type of financing, cash to cover an appraisal shortage, waived contingencies, waived inspections, waived remedies, closing at the seller's date of choice, and extended possession for the seller. She considers it her duty to advise the seller on the risks associated with each of the offers. After all, 30% of contracts never close. When Suzanne has the offer matrix ready, she then starts negotiating for more favorable terms with the individual buyer's agents. For this house, the buyers waive the appraisal contingency in its entirety and provided proof of funds that were able to contribute the additional money if needed. Basically, the sellers were guaranteed to receive a full offer price from this buyer. The winning offer had the highest sales price and no contingencies. Contract to close. Once the contract is signed, the buyers apply for financing. As there were no contingencies in the contract, all they had to do was wait for the closing day. During this time, Suzanne remained in constant contact with her clients, as well as the buyer's agent to ensure their financing was on track. All went well and they closed according to plan. And the sellers were very excited about this transaction. Not only did they net an extra $71,378 over list price, they also did not have to worry about inspections or remedies or contract deadlines as Suzanne managed the complete transaction on their behalf. What's important when selecting a listing agent? Most agents will not dedicate that much time and money when they list your house. And discount agents cannot afford the extensive marketing campaigns we implement. They certainly will not spend the time to negotiate aggressively with every single buyer to get the very best contract for you. Here's what matters the most when you select an agent. Extensive local experience, world-class marketing, proven negotiation skills, dedicated to detail, and communication 24-7. We promise to deliver an exceptional selling experience and protect you from the emotional roller coaster many sellers experience when they work with an inexperienced agent or try to sell by themselves. If you're ready to list, give Suzanne Novak a call or text at 614-975-9650 to schedule a free consultation. And until next time, thank you for watching.